And hey, tomorrow's summer. It is. Matter wow. of hours away, 5:13, summer solstice. I mean, so, it's felt like summer the last it week. It really or so, has. You know, we've already had really. one heat wave. We've got another one coming, Tori, but it's not going to be as oppressive or as dangerous as okay. the past one. So, so I want to kind of put that out there that it's going to be hot, but yeah. not too bad. The humidity will be a little more in check, and I think we all like to hear that today. Well, spring ended on a pretty toasty note in its own right. 91 in Greenville, 92 in Tacoa, 91 in Anderson, 89 in Greenwood, 84 into Asheville. So it was a hot day, and we're going to crank up these highs a few more degrees as we go into tomorrow. Looking outside right now, we still have some mid to high level clouds floating in out of the north. Otherwise, the highways and byways are nice and dry. No problem for your morning commute. Pretty good visibility. I think some areas could see a little bit of fog, but all in all, I think most of us are looking at good visibility. Still 82 downtown Greenville, but then you get away from the city center and it cools off. Anderson 77, Lawrence 73, Tacoa 75. You want air conditioning? Head to the mountains. 62 in Franklin, Waynesville right now at 67. First alert radar showing some of these high clouds floating in out of the north, but now they're beginning to move farther to the east. We're seeing more in the way of mainly clear skies across the upstate. So some of these serious clouds moving through as we have high pressure off to our north and west, those thicker clouds off to the east as we've got a trough of low pressure across the northeast, but we've got a building ridge over the top of us, and it's really going to start to cook. Already triple digit heat across Texas and the central plains, and we've got a big ridge of high pressure, and that's going to be pretty much moving right over the top of us through time. So you watch the timeline. This is our jet stream pattern trough in the Pacific Northwest, and that's going to bump up that ridge pretty much right over the top of us, and then that jet stream pretty much straddles the Canadian border as we go into the middle to latter part of the week. So under that jet stream is that building ridge and we're still going to see the very hot conditions and we could be flirting with some records as we go into Wednesday. And as far as the humidity goes, I think we're still looking OK the next couple of days remaining pleasant, but then it starts getting mild to kind of humid as we go towards the end of the week into the weekend as we increase some storm chances and the humidity for the mountains also beginning to come up kind of muggy and uh, humid for you as well and the future heat indices not as bad as last week. Remember we were talking 105 to 110 heat indices. We're not going to see that 97 is what it's going to feel like tomorrow. 100 Wednesday and Thursday middle 90s Friday into Saturday. So yes, hot, but not as oppressive as far as future track. We are seeing some of those clouds building in. And as we go into Tuesday, first day of summer, we're looking at a lot of sunshine, just some clouds from time to time. And as we go into Tuesday night and early Wednesday, we're also looking at clear conditions. But the big story will be the heat. And eventually there will be a cold front trying to break through this ridge. But the moisture is kind of starved with it. So uh, we could be looking at a few showers as we go into your Thursday, isolated to scattered showers. And I did take out that chance on Friday. I think we're looking at dry conditions then, but then some more moisture could be hanging around into the weekend, giving us another chance of some isolated to maybe scattered thunderstorms. For tonight, a low of 63 for the upstate, mostly clear and pleasant conditions and really nice into the mountains. Your low of 57, so enjoy that. But if you don't like the heat, oh boy, you're going to be... Uh, in a world of hurt the next few days, 96 Tuesday as summer arrives, 98 Wednesday. The record is 99 at GSP. We'll be close to that, maybe 100 in some places. There's our storm chance Thursday, 95, dried out Friday, 91, and maybe some hit and miss showers and storms into the weekend. Maybe a better chance on Monday, but note how we still stay in the 90s, and you're in the 90s the next few days for the mountains with storms as we go into Thursday, dried out Friday, more storms into the weekend. Maybe a better chance of rain by Monday and temperatures into the mid 80s. Make sure you tune in to the MEO.